So um, when someone says they have a burning um, sensation in the esophagus, it basically means that there is a bit of um, leakage of food contents or acidic food contents from the stomach into the lower part of the gullet. Normally the food passes into the gullet, into the stomach, and then in between the gullet and the stomach, there's a tiny muscle, um, like a valve, which keeps the lower part of the gullet tight and closed. Sometimes this can be a little bit loose, which will allow you know, food contents to come up and cause this burning sensation. So the symptoms are classically, patients might experience um, an uncomfortable sensation and burning at the lower part of the chest, which can come from the upper stomach and then go upwards into the lower chest and uh, even to the neck, actually. And it's more uh, pronounced with a positional component. For example, when patients are lying down um, after meals, they notice this quite uh, pronounced. And um, especially at night time, um, so they usually prop up the head end of the bed using more pillows. And also when they are leaning forward, when food contents um, sort of spill into the lower part of the gullet. So, so this condition can be treated in a variety of ways. And uh, basically what we usually say to patients is to watch out for a few things or basically called alarm symptoms. So as long as they're not having severe swallowing problems, severe vomiting, unexplained weight loss, um, then usually if this sort of uh, reflex symptoms come and go, then they can manage it with uh, antacids, which are basically alkali medications, which neutralize the acid um, food substances. Um, and they can get it from over the counter as well. And they can use it as and when they require it. And sometimes if it's more persistent, that's when they need some assessment by their doctors um, and um, acid reducing medications or PPIs as we call them, uh, proton pumping inhibitors, they um, are more effective than the antacids. So they get prescribed by doctors if they feel that the antacids are not helping. It uh, depends on um, what's causing the problem, basically. So if there are alarm symptoms, as I mentioned, um, then um, we recommend patients to see their doctor and get assessed. And sometimes they might require a camera exam to exactly see what's going on. Because if there are break in the lining, they might need treatment uh, for a different duration. If it's not causing regular interruption of patients' daily activities, then we recommend using the medication, namely antacids, as and when needed, actually. So, so it depends on what, what the patient is suffering from and how it's affecting their quality of life. So there are other lifestyle factors which can um, sort of contribute to uh, reflux. Um, so they're, they're being studied uh, quite in depth and uh, we know that smoking, um, al excess alcohol consumption, um, a lack of exercise, um, and then certain foods, and then posture, they can all um, contribute to reflux symptoms. When it comes to food, um, some it varies between person to person, but we um, know that you know, certain citrus fruits, acidic foods, fried foods, they can all contribute. So it's basically addressing these triggers. 